Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading from me, please do visit the description box below. And as always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Okay. So Virgos, I'm going to start off with trying to get like, just checking the temperature to see what's going on. This is not the tarot portion. I just want to see what's in the cards for y'all. And then I'm going to head into the oracles and then end off with tarot as I usually do. So thank you guys for supporting me and being here. Let's see. Quick check in for Virgo. So look, we do have justice rolling out justice is here something is going to be made fair the scales are about to be balanced i'm hearing strategy strategizing okay someone here might have tried to plot against you or to get people to turn on you here but there will be justice okay we have the hierophant and the eight of cups in reverse i'm hearing i will not be silent i will speak my peace yeah hearing negative forces of nature I heard fire and brimstone we have the four of pentacles I'm hearing leave it in the hands of God okay with the page of swords that's what spirit is saying spirit is giving you a strong message to leave it in the hands of God God sees how much you've endured or had to go through with this hurt, pain, betrayal, lies, schemes. And now Spirit is saying, you're about to do something different. I'm hearing switch it up. Okay? Whatever this person, I'm getting younger individual that has done to you, it's over with the world card. It's being closed out. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? What's here? Someone's health is definitely looking much better. Someone is thriving. Number 31. I'm getting May 31st. Yeah. A mature man is getting better. Okay, someone could be released from the hospital on this day. Or someone might have gone for a checkup to see how they're doing. And they're doing very well. I heard medically induced coma. That's what I heard. I don't know if this is you or someone that is external to you. But someone here might have been in a medically induced coma. Okay. My condolences, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're doing better. But it does look like there was a male that was sick for quite some time. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody cannot cast you out. You cannot die. You will not die, no matter what someone does. Someone may have been doing death spells, graveyard magic. You cannot die. I'm hearing that song. My your mother loving business and the thing you gotta see. Why you all up in my shit? Yeah, I'm hearing that song. I forgot. It was by Chris Brown and I can't remember his name right now. Um, the song is called I, I Will Not Die or whatever the case may be. Okay, so we have overload. So something could have been really overwhelming. I'm hearing you're getting overwhelming um, confirmations from spirit about your health. 
or pouring more into worrying about yourself. Making sure that you put yourself first. Number 67. I'm hearing the number 13. Yeah, someone has to get their act together. That's what I'm hearing. Number 69, relaxation. I'm hearing, can I just get one moment of silence, peace? I want to relax. I want to chill. I'm not trying to go there with you. So it looks like a lot of people are hollering for you to change something that allows, something in your life that allows you to be healthy, okay? But you feel like everybody's coming at you at once. You kind of feel attacked. Yeah. There's something that could be offsetting about this because when you were in isolation or you were in the hospital, nobody was there, okay? So it's kind of like, how can you be so condescending? I get that you're trying to look out for me, but right now, I've gotten over a lot. I've overcome a lot. For some of you, the doctors couldn't really figure out what this was. But remember, I made that reference to that sign, I will not die, or whatever that, that song's name is. Someone knew that they had to get back to their family, their children, the people that love them the most. I'm getting the thir the number 31 card again. So someone here could be seeing 3131. Okay. Go and check up what that angel number is. I'm hearing a level of recuperation. Someone is trying to recuperate. Someone here now needs to focus on how to get out of this binding contract, this marriage between them and their feminine. I'm speaking on a masculine or from a masculine standpoint. Tell me more on what's going on here. What do we need to know? What's here? We have victory. And there's victory because of spiritual justice. Someone's name could be Victoria. Vince. So we have an important revelation that's coming in. This could be from a mature male. Yeah, but I'm hearing something about a trap. Okay. Wow. So for some of you, if you've traveled with another individual, this could be a friend, family member, or whomever. Someone here might have wanted you to take a trip with them to leave you somewhere or to have you in an entrapment energy. I'm hearing left for dead. Damn. Someone here could be 39 years old. Let me just clarify that energy before I go any further. Spirit, what's this important revelation for Virgo? Wow, you keep having nightmares about this. You can't get it out of your mind. Someone here feels like they could do more without you than with you here. Could be the woman that you're dealing with. Someone was trying to leave you behind to get you caught up. Look, they tried to cause you some sort of pain, but 
still holding on to your essence. Okay. Someone here could be a Capricorn or an air sign. significant okay so two cards fell out I'm gonna take them so we have reconciliation and some money the only thing that was keeping you from from this person really trying to make sure that a, a sacrifice was made on you in a different country was the fact that you are the breadwinner to them, you're like their errand boy or someone that they can really gravitate money from. And I think that there's a lot of chatter that's going on amongst other people about you or your person, vice versa. Give me a wild card here. Someone here could be asking another person to loan them some money okay tell me more for virgo what do we need to know look someone here is asking another male for a lot of money okay someone doesn't have money for a lawyer some i think someone's trying to plan a divorce okay someone needs a lot of money The numbers 5, 38, and 45 could be significant. Someone could be seeing 538, 545 on the clock or 555. So there's about to be some sort of sudden change very soon. What's here? I'm hearing that you're tied to this person until you do some sort of unbinding ritual or actually separate from this person, you will be bound to this individual. The first card that popped out is the sun card. So there will be happiness and well-being. And then we have the spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. I'm going to connect with that card in a minute. Give me one more for Virgo. We have table. So hard work ahead. And then we have dog. You're protected from a powerful friend, which could be this male right here. This person could be working against you to get some of your energy. Okay. Someone here wants to reconnect with you to, to work against you to get your energy. So you might want to separate from this person. There is spiritual guidance, protection from harm, from this dark woman. Okay? This dark woman sent in this, this masculine as a love offer or the counterpart but you're going to realize that this person is just a goofy person okay someone's real goofy and you're protected from two important people someone is definitely on a quest to take you down and if it takes more than one person to take another individual down that goes to show how powerful you are okay What's the spirit energy for Virgo? We have the hangman in reverse. So I'm hearing that you're thinking about past life situations, things you've been through, things that you have been put through because of other people or what you've had to overcome. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Or the Four of Cups, I'm sorry. Water energy. I'm hearing that you've put off a lot of how you're feeling just so that you can, so things can come to a complete end. And I do see this here. I'm hearing you're going to drive yourself crazy worrying about things that you cannot change. Okay? Bring some temperance into your energy. Let's see. What is it that this person wants you to know? What do they want to tell you? What are their dark confessions versus their light confessions? Dark confessions for Virgo's person. Okay. So it says I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions, but they don't want to admit it. This situation has become very difficult for me to manage mentally. It is draining. They feel abandoned by you and it is triggering their childhood traumas. So let's find out what they are thinking because they won't say it. What do we need them? What do we need to know? They want to reconcile is what it looks like. It could be surrounding family, trying to get away, trying to be their own person. They feel like they're taking on the shadow of a lack of individuality. They're being told what to do instead of allowing themselves to make a sound decision. What is this roller coaster of emotions from your person? This person is uh, unhappy. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Someone's unhappy because of delays that are currently happening in their life and the person that they're having to do without. The person that they really want to manifest, okay? This person has a lot that they're going through. What's the sun card? What's the sun energy in reverse for their roller coaster of emotions? We have the Queen of Cups. They're dealing with somebody that's a very spiteful, bitter woman, whether this be a mother or the mother of their child. All this person thinks about is the finer things, the things that this person can provide. This person could be very materialistic, someone that's very uh, work-driven. What's this Queen of Cups? So someone is lacking a level of emotion, okay? There's something about balance, and the Justice talks about balance. Something will be restored and balanced here. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like there isn't an equal give and take. Someone doesn't feel like something is fair or being made fair. here for Virgo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? So we have patience. Someone's losing patience. Like, when is it my turn? When am I going to be happy? Why do I have to do this? Like, the more that you hold on to this person or this thing that you're supposed to release, that's what's hindering your happiness. So you can be sabotaging yourself by hanging on or allowing someone to hang on to your energy. There is something that will be illuminated. And what's being illuminated to you is change is coming. If you've been seeing 54, 44, one of those uh, numbers... That's talking about accepting change and not going against it, okay? 
your blessings are about to come in as you purify your energy and release what no longer serves you. I don't know what's holding you back, but you 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 feel like you you're placed somewhere where you can't move forward. But look, there's fulfillment, success, and simpl simplicity. Someone needs to live the simple life to attain the goals and achievements that they want. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. You have a divine level of protection, but you need to simplify something. Spiritual message for Virgo. Spiritual message for Virgo. Okay. So the overall message is protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. And we have pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Okay. Just know that you are protected. You need to protect yourself by cutting the cords of these karmic people and these karmic cycles okay i'm also getting here there is an awakening you're entering an awakening period there are energetic upgrades that you are being integrated to or within tell me more for virgo so I'm hearing that you're getting rid of anything that's going to put you on the wrong path. You, you are trying to maneuver around these illusions that you might have faced. Okay, there are changes and cycles that are going to be ending. I'm hearing this person is spying on you. Could be a feminine here. Someone's trying to put themselves in your energy to see what your next move will be. Whoever this person is, they're a feminine energy. Tell me more. What's going on for Virgo? I'm hearing that you can no longer repress what you feel. Someone here is using their ego To bring them. It looks like that someone's in their ego and they know they have to apologize. But I don't know if their pride will let them. Maybe they do want to apologize. And they realize that they do have a big ego, but they know that they've also done wrong. Okay. This could be you apologizing to someone that you might have wronged or vice versa. I'm hearing you need to take on this nurturing energy. This is going to help you spring up or spruce your energy into being cold. Nurture yourself so that you can distance yourself from people that you should, okay? I'm hearing pay attention to your dreams. Some of you might have had a nightmare. Someone tried to take you down to obtain some sort of empowerment. see here I'm hearing stay focused or there's something that you're focused on so we have the not relationships Someone here could be 35 years old. I'm getting March 5th, May 3rd. Hmm. I'm hearing you need to be aware of the risk that you could take trying to mend a relationship or get getting yourself in entanglement. Yeah. I'm hearing caution, disruption. Someone's trying to cause you some sort of disruption by getting you caught up in a relationship again or some sort of relationship whatever that might be tell me more here what's going on for Virgo 
Yeah, I'm hearing it's time to speak up or to be blunt. Say what you mean, mean what you say, or someone here could be trying to pick your brain with you being straight up. This could be a test here, okay? I'm hearing that this person or you could be saying that losing them was the hardest. But someone didn't want you to get caught up in the lifestyle that they were living. Someone was living a double life. Someone was into some sort of gang, okay? Someone now needs a lawyer, but they can't really tell you much. If you're, you're speaking to this person over the phone, they needed a great escape. They needed to kick it. They needed an alibi. Someone here might have gotten arrested for some sort of personal identification fraud or stolen, stolen identity, okay? Someone might have bad credit, so they got into the um, hands of, of getting people's information and stealing it. Yeah, someone got jammed up when they were um, tra traffic stopped or there was some sort of routine stop, okay? I'm hearing Overnight Celebrity by Twista. Yep, someone has a, a, a lyrical a lyrical gift. Someone could be musically gifted. However this is, this could be an arts, whatever this may be. I haven't seen that card in a minute. Oh, man. It's all right. So we do have an artist in reverse. Someone uses, someone is using talents as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as the ser the starving artist or elicits pity. Look, I told you someone is a lyricist. Someone is talking about, talking about someone or 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 trying to judge others through their talent. They're using their talent for exposure exploitation okay tell me more they're using that as a level of creativity or driving themselves to do this someone's acting innocent or angelic to mislead others falsely claiming to be in touch with an angelic guidance but they're not yep like i said voyeurism falsifying information so someone here that's in the industry could be outing you or what you do who you are what they've experienced with you in their lyrics or using their platform to to cause or bring attention to your life but not in a great way or you could be doing this to them take it as it resonates reverse the roles instead of you know, focusing on their career and their art, what they can do to change the world. They're using it for, to destroy people and to out people, okay? Tell me more here. What's going on in love? What do we need to know for Virgo? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo at this time. Okay, so we have two cards that fell out. The overall energy is forever young. So there is a song of youthful playfulness. You need to be more playful or to lighten up is what Spirit is saying. There will be a interrupted romantic situation because of some sort of duty you know this soul that mirrors your own there's a twin flame connection that you might have with someone that might be interrupted i'm gonna find out why in a minute yeah i feel like you had just gotten to know this person and you recognize this person on a soul's level and you feel like you deserve love but something is going to be interrupted let's see why 
there's a tower. There's something that's being delayed here. So this is like a, a, a divine tower that's happening, okay? Someone has a lack of judgment or thinking. Someone is not analytical. Someone has like some issues or they have things that they haven't wrapped up before they got into a relationship with you. And before they can be with you, they have to wrap those things up. Whoever this person is, yeah. I don't know if this is like a friend, like this is somebody that they used to date for sure because the lovers and the ace of swords is in reverse. So it looks like this person never really finished or they did, but they're not really being honest about the connection that they have with you and this person is still lingering in the background like this person is idle okay six of cups i'm hearing that this person could also need to help this individual so they have some sort of business transaction with this individual she's a queen of wands by the way whoever this is that you're connected to or that you will be connected to Whoever this twin flame soulmate energy is, they're still connected to a queen of wands, okay? And this is the third party. This person needs to constantly be around this individual to give them a boost in their confidence. This person feeds off of this male or female, okay? This is a, um, a low vibrational, very... Um, low self-esteem type of female, okay? If she doesn't have this individual in particular that we're talking about, she doesn't feel powerful. She doesn't feel empowering, okay? But because of you being the queen of pentacles, there needs to be some sort of truth. So this, this relationship between you and this person if you are in one or you're about to be in one with this individual they have to be honest or else the the, the deal's off that's what i'm getting here this is why the justice card is here okay god will not allow someone to come into your life to play the same games that you've been through it's either now or never okay this person is going to fall in love with you and you're going to fall in love with them, but they need to be honest. They need to work out their past situations before they get in too deep. Because baby, if you get hurt one more time, that's crazy. I'm hearing that song by Britney Spears. Uh, Hit me baby one more time. Like, Spirit is saying, if you, if you mess with my chosen one, the one that I sent into the world to, to, to be on her or his mission, and you mess with the plans that God has for him or her, Virgo, it's over. God don't play about you. And that's just period. And a lot of people are going to start finding out the, the hard way that you are highly favored, okay? Actually, let's see what's going on in these cards. What do we need to know for Virgo? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. So Virgo, if you are a healer, a spiritualist, a, a reader, you're going to get some good advice from your guides, okay? Someone that is in your soul tribe, whoever this is that you're connected to, you're connected on the fifth dimensional level. Someone here is having co-parenting issues due to extreme dislike for each other, okay? This could be you or a person that you are connected to externally. Someone here is trying to prove their word to the wrong people and is the black sheep of the family and isn't for a good reason. They're a conspiracy theorist. They want you to believe something that they don't even believe in just to let you go down a rabbit hole, okay? So let's see what's going on. Maybe this is what Spirit is saying. This person has other duties that they need to tend to. 
someone here might be putting on some sort of fake persona to the public, but not really having much. These are like people that don't really care what the, these individuals do with their, their life, okay? That don't genuinely show them love. They just want to see what the fate of someone's life is like. Someone here may be the black sheep of the family and that's how they relate to you because you might have been the black sheep of the family, but they might have not been for a good reason. What is this reason? They have a record. Someone has a criminal record and they haven't been reformed. You can't trust them. They're also someone that is sleeping around or you could be trying to say that they can't trust you, but should you trust them? Someone has an overactive imagination and imagines things that aren't even true. Okay. Let's see more. What's here for Virgo? Spirit is telling you to release the past. Because someone that's connected to your past or the people that you might have turned away from have a hidden agenda. Okay. Spirit is telling you that this person is not for you. No matter how much they miss you, you need to start making the right romantic choices for yourself, okay? This person doesn't want you to leave their energy. Release the past. These people are not for you. They are not from your soul tribe. They are a karmic trying to take you over to the, to the underworld to keep you stuck. You need someone that's going to have uh, a level of compassion, um, teamwork, effort, and love for you, genuine love. All right, Virgo. And all somebody wants to do is play games. I'm hearing that song by Fat Joe, Play No Games. So we do have the queen of pentacles in reverse. There is a feminine energy that is on her grind, but very much concerned about yours, okay? She sees you as the empress here, very nurturing, loving. You're on your journey. And I'm hearing you never miss, you never disappoint. They see how much people love and gravitate to your energy field. You have endless opportunities here but you just have to make sure that you're making the right choice i'm hearing you could you could flip heads when you walk in a room nobody can try to ruin or take your peace away from you you're a powerful and remarkable individual everybody that went against you has failed And you've overcame a lot. So now it's time for you to accept change, is what Spirit is saying. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. Okay, so we have a Queen of Wands. We have two Queens, Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands that could know each other or not. These could be two separate individuals um, with the same agenda very um this person is like gossiping about you not defending your name or your character these are people that want to assassinate your character because they have no level of power other than going against you okay these are jealous individuals jealous feminine energies because they can't find people that will gravitate towards them they're not highly favored they're not loved and you shouldn't be surprised either. Someone here is in spiritual or physical jail. Someone here needs you to break them loose or free from a toxic situation or from some sort of trouble that they're in. There is a telepathic message that this person could be sending you at this time. Yeah, this person might have lost their position 
as being the emperor. Someone's not making the right decisions to stay in power, to be an emperor here. Someone's gotten too many chances and they're willing to F it up. That's just period. Let's see here. The number 10 could be significant as well. So this person is going through a lot of burdens, feeling stuck, spiritually spent here. Two of Wands in reverse with the sorrow. Yeah, someone's sorry that they got themselves into this, this mess, the mess that they created. seen 310 on the clock someone's throwing their hands up like all right i see how much damage i've done to myself and my life i'm throwing my hands up i need help someone here tried to take their own life here someone has attempted to take their own life in a bathroom someone was trying to cleanse themselves of the blood that they feel is contaminated that runs through their veins for dealing with a karmic. They want a cycle completed. They want to do whatever it takes. Because remember what they said, right? Losing you was the hardest for them. They can't take that anymore. They're dropping their ego and pride. They're having, they want to go through an ego death here so that they can leave something behind because Ultimately, it's not making them happy. They keep getting towers and, and being defeated. They want to become on top. They want opportunity. Okay? But justice is working in your favor. God has heard everything that you have told him. So it's, it's done and over with. Okay? So be the one to choose what your fate is. Walk on the straight and narrow path to change. And everything will go smooth. That's what spirit is saying. Just obey what I'm telling you. And everything will go smoothly. Listen to the voice of your guides. Okay? So Virgos, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And support me on my other platform. I will leave the link to the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next one.